Welcome to another TeamFlick tutorial. Today we'll be going over the survey module in its entirety. In this tutorial, we'll be approaching the surveys module from three different perspectives. The perspective of the end user and how they interact with the surveys module, from the perspective of a manager, as well as the perspective of a TeamFlect admin. Let's start things off with the end user view. Here we are inside the TeamFlect dashboard. To access our surveys as a simple end user, all we have to do is scroll down and go to my latest survey. Once we're here, we can click on the individual survey or click view all to access the surveys module. Or we can go to the left sidebar and click surveys. Let's do just that. Once we're inside the surveys module, we're greeted with three separate tabs. The My Surveys tab is for all of the surveys we have to fill out as an end user. If we're a manager, we can click My Team Surveys to view all the surveys of for the people in our team. Or if we're a team flight admin, we can click All Surveys and see all the surveys within our organization. We can filter the surveys in our Surveys module through this drop down menu. Or we can simply head over to the search bar and type in a keyword to look for a survey. Surveys are divided into two categories here, those who, that are completed and those that are waiting for our action. In fact, let's go into a survey that is waiting on us for its completion. We can see that this is a weekly pulse survey and it is waiting to be completed. From the right side menu, we can go back and forth between different surveys. And if we scroll down, we can see that TeamFlect has multiple different survey question types. The first one is an open-ended question, the second one is multiple choice, and they're followed up by a couple of rating questions. Once we've answered, we can always click submit. But this isn't the only way we can fill out surveys inside TeamFlect. TeamFlect users also receive surveys in the form of adaptive cards inside Teams Chat. As you can see, TeamFlect has sent us the exact same survey as an adaptive card inside Teams Chat. And we're putting our answer in right now. We're answering the first open-ended question. This is the multiple choice one. And we're putting our rating in for the two rating questions. And we're going to click submit. That's how easy it is to fill out a survey inside Teams Chat. Now, let's switch to the point of view of a manager. Here we are under the My Teams Surveys tab as a manager. Managers can see all the surveys related to the members of their team. In fact, let's click on one of those surveys. On the left side of the page, we can see all the respondents of the survey. And we can see that Jessica has not submitted their answer. So we're clicking send reminder. And Jessica is already selected because the others have already submitted their answers. We can attach a note and then click send reminder. On the right side of the page, we can see all the responses to the survey. And if we scroll down, we can see everyone's answers to each survey question and how those answers have been dispersed between the different options. We can see all the answers to the ranking questions, as well as a net promoter score survey question. And if we click show respondents, we can see all the people who've responded to the survey. And if we click on an individual respondent, we can see their answers specifically. Or we can click go to survey and go directly inside the survey they filled out. We can also send surveys inside TeamFlect to be answered completely anonymously. As you can see, all the respondents to this very survey are completely anonymous, but everyone have put their answers in. We can still see every single answer to all the survey questions and how they've been dispersed among different options, but we can't see who gave which answer. If we scroll down, we see the answers to the yes, no questions and the ranking questions and all the other different question types. If we want the detailed analysis of the survey, we can always use AI to generate a survey report. All we have to do is click right here. And in a matter of seconds, we have a detailed analysis of the survey using AI. We can also click right here to compa compare this survey's results with past surveys. If we want to create a survey from scratch, all we have to do is scroll up and click New Survey. 
and then we're going to click new survey for my team if we're a manager. If we're an admin, we can create a survey for the entire company. But for now, let's stick to the roles of a manager. Once we're here, all we have to do is put a name for the survey and then select the survey template. TeamFlect already has an extensive library of customizable survey templates that can be used as they are. But if you want to customize a template or create a new one, you can click right here and go to the admin center. Of course, this only works if you're a TeamFlect admin. For now, let's click the weekly pulse survey template and then select some respondents. Once we're done, we can add a note if we want to, select a due date, and then click create to send out our survey. Last but not least, let's take a look at the admin view of the surveys module. Admins can access the all surveys tab where they can view every single survey organization wide. And as an admin, we can scroll down, select the survey and see all the information available to us. Now let's leave the surveys module and head over to the admin center. Now that we're inside the admin center, let me show you how you can create a new survey template. We're heading into modules and then selecting surveys. Once here, we'll be clicking create and initiate surveys. And then we'll select create a new template. Once here, we're giving our template a name and a description. Then we can select where the template can be sent and start adjusting its visibility. This is where we can adjust who will be able to see the answers to the survey, as well as make the survey anonymous if we want to. We can also toggle minimum reporting groups on and off. We can adjust notification settings. And once we're done with visibility, we can move on to survey questions. To add a new set of questions to our survey template, we need to click right here. Then we can either select from existing sets of questions or create our own. We'll be selecting the weekly pulse survey questions. Then we have the option to make the survey compatible with email and Teams chat. Moving on to summary and test, this is where we can see some information about the survey. And then if we click start, what we have to do is pick a scenario for this survey. Is it a one-time survey or will it be automated periodically such as weekly, monthly or quarterly? Or will it be a new hire automation where employees will receive the survey after a certain number of days into their employment? Let's keep it this way. And once we put in all the necessary details, all we have to do is click save automation to be done with our new survey template. But that brings us to the end of this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, never hesitate to contact the TeamFlect support staff. TeamFlect. Build teams that deliver.